What up, family? It's your boy SNTV. Back at y'all with another Chirac Street Legends. And this episode is going to be about none other than FBG Duck, a.k.a. Big Clout. Doug, what you doing on the block? You really on STL? We really on STL? I'm kind of nervous. What the fuck? What you nervous for? It's a lot going on. Well, this you just pulled out what I was doing. You was just chilling, man. What well, now? Nah, what I was doing? Tell him what I was doing. Oh, no. Nah, you, you told him go get three guns. All right, then. FBG Duck comes from that STL set or Shoot to Live. They off of 63rd in St. Lawrence or Tukaville. They GDs. They main beef is with BDs that go by the name of O Block. They off of 64th and King Drive. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but Duck actually has been rapping for a long time. As a matter of fact, he's been rapping for like nine years. He actually started rapping. I think his first song was like 2011. I'm doing my thing. Even though I feel like Duck was taking rap serious before the death of his brother and his cousin on the same day. I feel as though after that situation occurred, it sparked something in him that made him just want to start going harder. And that's exactly what he did. I love Brick and Kobe in the same day. The same way. Gunplay. And for someone to actually keep a sane mind and continue to go hard and continue to get better and still continue to rap after all that Duck has lost. Duck is probably the artist out of Chicago that has lost the most friends and family. He's lost his brother Brick. He's lost his cousin Raheem. He's lost his cousin Scrap. He's lost his cousin Kobe Mack. He's lost Tuka. K.I., Taekwon, T.B., Poppy, Jojo, Boss Trail, Tutu, Lil B, Venzel, Dooski, Man Man, Melly, Lil Mister, Side, Motor, and many more. Seeing as how FBG Duck was basically out when the drill scene first came into fruition and seeing how he went from 2011 to just now getting a deal in 2018 and he still hasn't necessarily rose to the heights of a let's say Dirk or a Chief Keef. I feel as though Duck feeling like he's being blackballed, there is some truth to it. They don't like to see me in a position that I'm in. You didn't, they don't like this. Just think about it. Them niggas got deals before me. Yeah. Yeah, they thought I'd never get one. They don't like it. That shit hurt them right now. Yeah, I'm a nigga. I'm a nigga. I'm a nigga that they call they opt right, right. And, and I'm a nigga that know how to rap, right. They don't like that. They don't want none of their rapper friends fucking with me or none of that. Yeah, they be they be telling their rapper friends don't fuck with me and shit. I'm gonna rob them and all that goof ass shit. Them niggas be straight hoes. Like, that's some real gay shit. Like, you telling this nigga, don't fuck with that nigga, man. Let the rapping ass niggas be rappers, G. Nah, let the rappers be rappers, bro. This how rappers get their money. Leave that Chicago you shit feel me? Leave that Chicago shit in Chicago, G. Stop trying to take what we got going on in this city to the next city. Come on, G, you niggas just clown. Y'all want to fuck up my money. That's what they want to do. These niggas want to fuck up my money. FBG Duck, like I said before, have been around since the drill scene started and Duck has been an innovator of a couple different things. One being the use of the word clout. Now, you know, I'm not going to say that he invented the word or no shit like that, but I have to admit that 
when the Cloud Boys came out, FBG, they had been screaming clout for so long before other people started saying it. So I understand what he says when he says that he started the word clout or the clout movement. Everybody know who started the word clout. You know what I'm saying? Say Cheese put it up. I know you saw, you saw that shit, right? You know, you saw that shit. What, what, what was your thoughts when Say Cheese put it up? Say it as I told y'all. Okay. That was the first day I ever heard shit. Yeah, I'm saying, hey, he motherfucker, motherfucker get that cloud boy, so we cloud boy. When you, saying, that's what it is. When y'all hear multi mo, mo, multi millionaires and niggas that's in the rap industry talking about, yeah, I'm trying to get clouded or such such clouded up. How do that make y'all feel, knowing nigga? We started that shit on 63rd, man. Because like, like motherfuckers been no, no, I know y'all, but how that make y'all feel? Oh, <laughs> well, motherfuckers been saying clout, but we motherfuckers that's like. Cloud boys, you see what I'm saying? Now you got motherfuckers saying cloud game. Everybody wanna use the word more. You see what I'm saying? No, let it go. Everybody wanna use the word cloud more. You see what I'm saying? Cause we started using that shit. Like you heard motherfuckers saying it, but you wanna hear motherfuckers saying how they saying it. Now. Okay, when Drake said it, what was y'all thoughts like? Damn, they really following our shit. Look, Wayne said it. Nicki Minaj. Yeah, they did. I said, they said the copyright. They be listening. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Say that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All they ask me is, I know they, I know they know my man. So if they know Keith, then they know folks. The nigga, uh, what's his name, folk? The ugly guy, nigga. He call this a clout game. Man. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Ironically, FBG is actually indirectly responsible for the smoking on eye packs. Apparently, FBG made a song in honor of Tuka, and they said something about they were smoking Tuka, and Chief Keef used it in a disrespectful way, and of course, the whole thing blew up because at the time, Chief Keef was the hottest rapper in the city. All these niggas be trying to smoke and drink. All these niggas that he dropped. Yeah, OG, y'all gotta get that on my mama, G. Niggas, swear to God that. Other artists started smoking. We started that shit, G. Out of respect. Niggas just took our shit. Niggas actually took our shit and started saying it in a disrespectful way. You see what I'm saying? Niggas started taking this shit in a disrespectful way. Y'all smoking too. We killing y'all, man. Fuck it, man. Hold on, hold on. That's a whole song about that shit. This is a big ass issue. What do you say? Two cans, my blood. So your man started that shit off respect and now motherfuckers using niggas that Niggas took our shit and started saying it in a disrespect. That's just crazy because everybody's smoking on their ups and shit out here, man. Duck would eventually end up signing a deal with Sony after he dropped the hit single Slide. I think that the reason why Slide was so hot is because even though FBG Duck was doing his drill thing and he was talking his shit, he still didn't diss none of his ops. So it made it easier for the other side to listen to it as well. When it comes to FBG, I just feel like FBG and O Block have been beefing for nearly a decade and both sides have lost an awful lot and it's pretty much time to let that bullshit alone. Whatever happened in the streets, that happened. I commend FBG Duck for coming out with the song Chicago Legends, even giving respect to his ops. I feel like it was definitely an extended arm. I don't give a fuck what nobody feel. I don't fuck what nobody say. I'm a grown ass man. That way, then again, we ain't gotta be friends. We ain't gotta <laughs> hang together. We don't gotta hold hands. Vim. That's my purpose of saying that shit, man, because I knew it was going to be a lot of idiots on here who saying, man, we ain't agreeing with that shit, we don't fuck with that shit. It ain't about us at this moment. Right now, it's about the culture. It's about the kids. It's about the older people who got to walk the streets and worry about it. They got to get hit like, by a bullet. Like, that's how like growth and development. You see, that, that's, that, that's exactly that's what that like is. Growth that's growth and development. You see what I'm saying? It's not about us. We putting people like in the middle shit. about a, a beast that we have going on. But we gotta, in order for this shit to be over with, it gotta start with us first. I like that shit. 
You see what I'm saying? Gotta start off with the motherfuckers who got y'all. Oh, you said let me put on my channel. Y'all listen to our music. Thank <laughs> y'all savage. Y'all listen to Lil Dirt, Chief Keys, me, all that shit. Everybody, Lil J, whoever the fuck y'all listen to. And it made y'all think y'all savages. And half of you niggas became shooters off of music. Because you wanna be what's in the, in the, what this nigga saying in his rap. You wanna be a nigga who shits black. Or you wanna be a nigga who bite, 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 bite. You wanna you wanna be, you wanna, you wanna be some some shit like that. Like you make negative you know. type of shit. Some I'm positive. I'm just saying you wanna be something negative, but you don't wanna be something positive. You ain't worried about when your mama gotta bury you and can't come up with the funeral money. Or well, you see what I'm saying? Like, cause you niggas ain't leaving nothing behind. It's nothing you left behind for your mama to bury you proper. Because you was doing nothing with your life. You out here gang banging, shoot motherfuckers for nothing. You go kill a motherfucker for some rap in the hood. No. Back then they used to kill motherfuckers, they got paid for. It. It's not like that no more because you niggas out here young and dumb. Like a bunch of you niggas is a bunch of young dumb niggas who don't know how to grow up. And then the worst part about it is these niggas act so savage, but they gotta listen to a nigga. That's what be killing me. Like you gotta listen to your boss. You have a boss. Everybody do. So how is you? You know what I'm saying? Like so, if your boss tell you you gotta do this, you have no choice but to do that. You see what I'm saying? Like you have no choice but to do that. And most of you niggas got bosses. You see what I'm saying? Like most of you niggas have a boss. You see what I'm saying? Like y'all niggas gotta listen. So if I came to the conclusion where I want to meet up with Lil Dirt. And say, man, look, man, we finna get this money. We finna ru 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 ru. You stay out my way, I stay out your way. We gonna leave it in the streets. But when it's about this paper, we ain't, we ain't gonna interrupt each other. But what's in the streets is what's in the streets. What's understood ain't gotta be explained. Like right now, that's why I can't do summer jams and BET awards and all this shit because. They afraid of what's gonna happen if I see Lil Durk or if anybody else. If he see me, how that shit gonna go? How it's gonna, how play, it's gonna out. play out? Right. And then, then one I ask so will never be invited to that away. shit again. You see what I'm saying? Like I already said, I ain't trying to be your niggas' friends. I ain't trying to be your homie. I ain't trying to hang with you. We ain't gotta shake hands. I ain't trying to oh, squash no shit. beef. I ain't trying to do none of that shit. I'm just trying to make a difference. You belt. see what I'm saying? I'm trying to make a difference. We gotta show these niggas like, who, like, who, who who following our lead, man. Every nigga who following our lead, we gotta show them that when we become grown men, a lot of shit gonna change. You see what I'm saying? I got four kids. They gotta eat. So if I leave, and I let a nigga kill me and take me out this shit, then who the fuck gonna teach my kids right from wrong? Nobody. You see what I'm saying? I think that one thing we can learn from FBG Duck is this. Never ever give up on your dreams, no matter the circumstances. Never let anything derail you from what you say you want to be or from what you say you want to do. Keep going. One thing I know, it will rain before the sun shines, but it will not rain forever. And another thing is this. A lot of people see it as pussy when you know you attempt to squash some beef but in all actuality it's mature it shows that you've grown up for instance you can't be out here in your 30s still sliding still gang banging and things of that nature with kids out here you can't tell me that you in the streets every day all day gang banging slanging and shit like that and you being a good father so it's okay to let some shit go. That don't mean you a pussy. That just mean that you tired of bullshit. Niggas got better things that they can be doing besides killing each other. This has been the story of FBG Duck. It's your boy, SN TV. I'm out. I'm really tired of niggas hating. I put that on the nation. SN keeping it real and he coming with information. You don't like it, go that way. And I hope you reach your destination. But stay your stupid ass out of my comment section, pump faking. International steppers, killers across the nation. Chirac Street Legends, the topic of conversation. Street News TV, motherfucker. Fuck.
Get to me. Get on this bitch like Young Chop. Man, Lil Durk is made out here for real. Man, what? Lil Durk has a goofy on the deal. I'm fucking thinking. They got a goofy. These niggas think these niggas really went that. Yeah, oh, look, on my door, I, I like, when I was locked up, these niggas yeah, really, shot crazy. These yeah, niggas yeah. really thought Chief Keith was with the shit, bro. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you, <laughs> Hey, yo, uh, no, dude. These niggas is crazy out here. They talking about now, Young Chop, wow. Young Chop a bitch, too, on both of them. Fat ass slob. I like a motherfucker couldn't get no beats. Scary ass. He was talking about everybody scary. It's not a scary old photo. He showed sure getting that sizzle. Fuck one of those niggas on the team. You're scary as hell, sizzle. Don't do that. I'll get that. What is he talking about? His fat ass don't even know. He not even making sense. Uh, the big beautiful burger from Chester's on the G. It's merch. I'm fat as hell too. You right. It's merch, but on Tuga, y'all chop fat than a <laughs> motherfucker. Like, whoever just said that FBG, you fat as hell, too. It's Merch, I'm fat on Tuka Gray. It's but Merch. Young Chop, fat as hell. It's Merch, Young Chop, as a big ass bowling ball out here on the G. It's Merch ain't none of their ass like that. Shit, Don't make me get on this bitch and start getting on that Young Chop shit. Oh, fool, man. Oh, don't talk about Boss Top. This nigga got me blocked. Why y'all come in Boss Top name? This ass a like goofy. <laughs> Who is that? Oh, some goof ass nigga from 64th. Nah. <laughs> this ass just get out of jail or some shit. Oh, no. This ass some big goofy ass nigga. Oh, that's the one who always yelling and shit can't rap. Yeah, a big weak ass nigga. Oh yeah, that's the one that came right. He got his his motherfucking career been gone like three days. Full on grave. What fuck did he say his name? Go catch a virus on his bitch. What fuck gonna catch a virus? Say his they name. They talk about young chop live right now. Everybody tell your chop come to me. <laughs> Yo, chop live. <laughs> Somebody just commented that right now. Oh, the G, what do you say? These niggas just crazy. I should go join your chop shit. On phone, I'm trying to get on his shit. I'm finna go join your chop shit, y'all. <laughs> right. Like, what the fuck is that song called?